Hey everyone, it's Jason, and these are my top three cruise news stories of this past week. And the last story, we finally get an answer. Is this cruise line going to change their beverage package policy? So cruise story number one, and this one, I don't know whether to laugh at it or just shake my head. There's a gentleman, his name is Matteo Romano, and he was convicted of drug trafficking back in 2018, and he has been on the run ever since. Well, he was apprehended on a family cruise on a Costa ship. So what happened was, is the police were alerted of him being on the ship, and Costa was obviously very well aware of it. They took a pilot boat, the police did, out to the ship, they searched the ship, they found Romano in his cabin where he was arrested and sent to prison. Now, I get the calling for the ocean. I love being on cruises. But uh, if you've been on the run for five years, it sounds like he's done a pretty good job of it. For a drug conviction, you may not want to go on a cruise. You know, the whole ID thing, facial recognition. Like I said, don't know whether to laugh or just shake my head at that one. So, cruise story number two, and I'm sure I'm going to ruffle some feathers with this one, and this has to do with loyalty and perks from the cruise lines. So, Carnival announced twice this week that they were going to be unable to provide certain benefits for their Diamond and Platinum members on two cruises this week, and that was on the Carnival Freedom and the Carnival Venezia. So these are longer cruises, 13 to 15 days. And the reason was, is because there was too many diamond and platinum members on the cruise. So I understand that, that that's obviously well within their rights, but it also brings up another question for me is, do you cruise just for the benefits? And, and I mean, not just for the benefits, but do you go, okay, I'm loyal to Royal, that's all I'm going to look at when I book my cruise. Or do you go, hey, let me look at Princess or Holland or any of the other brands. There's so many of them. Because I personally think it's boring just to cruise on one line. I think the entertainment gets a little stale. I think some of the things get stale. And I'm going to say this, and this is where I said I'll ruffle some feathers, is corporately, I don't think they care. Now, when you're on the cruise ship, the, pa the crew is awesome. They care. They love having you back. All that. that You feel that. But I don't know if corporately they care, especially right now with people flooding into the cruise industry, cruising that have never cruised before, and they can take those benefits away because, hey, they don't. none of those newbies have that. And then what they can charge these pretty high prices that we're seeing. So it's just something that I'm trying to understand why people cruise a certain cruise line. Is it, hey, I like it, I'm comfortable, great. But I would implore you to check out other cruise lines because here's the thing is, tomorrow we could wake up and Royal Caribbean could say, hey, Diamond's now 110 days, 110 points. Well, that went from 80 to 110. And we're going to drop it to two drinks per person per day. And we're going to drop Diamond Plus to three. It's just none of these benefits are there long term. So my thing is, is get the best enjoyment that you can out of your cruise. And don't sail just one cruise line because you are loyal to them or you you know that you're not wanting to try other lines because you might find out that you like another line better if you try something else and that's what happened to us we went from princess to trying celebrity and we like celebrity better and right now we love celebrity but that's not going to stop me from going on another princess cruise and that's not going to stop me from going on royal and I will, I'll definitely do Holland America and I've never been on Disney but I want to try it so that's just something that I think, it, I knew I, I, like, I just want to know in the comments, why exactly do you stay loyal? Is it because of the loyalty and the perks? Or is it because, hey, I genuinely like Royal Caribbean. I think they do a great job. And I'm not comfortable going and trying Princess, let's say. So I look forward to hearing from you in the comments.
So before I get to number three, I would ask that you please like the video as it does help the channel grow. Also consider subscribing as I do daily cruise news shorts and tips and tricks. I also do longer videos on Saturdays and Sundays at 8 a.m. Thanks so much. So cruise story number three, whenever I do a video on the beverage packages, I always see this in my comments. When is Carnival going to raise the limit on the beverage package? So if you're unaware, Carnival Corporation and anything that sails under the Carnival Corporation has a limit of 15 drinks per 24 hours. And I've never seen anything official one way or the other on this until this week. So John Heald, who is the brand ambassador for Carnival, actually answered a question and I wanted to read this to you because it kind of puts this to rest. So here's the post by John Heald. And if you're unfamiliar with John Heald, what he does is he posts, uh, he asks for questions and then he responds to them. And basically someone said, this is America, it should be unlimited or raise it to at least 20 drinks. And John Heald said, okay, seriously, we are not going to be raising the limit, but I have to ask, is 15 enough for you? So my question to you guys is, do you think 15 drinks per 24 hours is fair? Is that enough for you? So I look forward to your answers in the comments. I really wanna hear what you guys think about that. And I do appreciate you guys watching, of course, every week. And thank you so much for the support. And until I talk to you next week, happy cruising.